Hello, in this video we're going to look at date fashion from Logic 1 and this is the Java solution. The problem states you and your date are trying to get a table at a restaurant. The parameter U is the stylishness of your clothes in the range 0 to 10 and date is the stylishness of your date's clothes. The result, getting the table is encoded as an int value with 0, no, 1 maybe, 2 yes. If either of you is very stylish, 8 or more, then the result is 2, which is a yes. With the exception that if either of you has a style of 2 or less, then the result is 0 or no. Otherwise, the result is 1, maybe. And we can look at the examples here, 5, 10. So we see our date is greater than or equal to 8, so that's a guaranteed you get a table. 5, 2, so our date is less than or equal to 2, so they definitely aren't going to give us a table. And 5, 5, so no one is really stylish, and no one is really unstylish, so it's a maybe. Now, when I work through this problem with students, I like to think about it as two big ideas. The first is, when a return statement is reached, the method stops. And this is really useful to kind of to reinforce because what that means is that any code beyond that point can assume that the condition that that return statement is in is false. And that can simplify your, your code quite a bit. And that brings us to the second big idea is that the order you ask things matters and that it significantly simplifies code. And so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to code this initially in exactly the order the problem stated. And then I'm going to show you how taking these considerations into, in, into your thoughts can help simplify the code. Okay, so the first thing I say, if either of you is very stylish eight or more, then the result is two. So I'm gonna say if u is greater than or equal to eight or date is greater than or equal to eight, then I'm gonna return two. And the next thing they say, with the exception that if either of you has a style of two or less, then return zero or no. So I'm gonna say if u is less than or equal to two, or date is less than or equal to 2, we're going to return 0, which is no. Now I'm hoping you notice here that there's a bit of a problem, but don't, don't rush away yet. We're going to solve it. And now because this is going to deal with all the cases when it's 2, this is going to deal with all the cases when it's 0, I'm just going to return 1. I don't need another if statement because if I make it to this last return statement, I know that you must be between 8 and 2. And I hit go and it's not right. And that's because order matters here. And that's, that is that this first if statement is wrong. Well, it's not wrong, it's just missing something. Because if you read the problem, it says, with the exception. So this is the more important condition. It doesn't matter if you and your date are greater than or equal to 8. If either of you are a 2 or less, you don't get in. So one way to solve this problem is I could put this. I could say, and you are greater than 2, and your date are greater than 2. So basically, if you're greater than or equal to 8, or your date's greater than or equal to 8, and both of you are greater than 2, then you get in. And I hit go, and you see here how it doesn't work? Well, the reason why it doesn't work here is actually kind of interesting. Let me show you something here. I'm going to put a little, I'm going to add some additional brackets here. And I hit go, and it works. This is simply have to do with the, with the sequence that this if statement evaluates these Boolean expressions. This is not the place to get into it, but there is an order of operations here. And even though, like, when you look at this initially without those brackets, you know, what you say to yourself is, okay, I'm going to evaluate this and this, so, and then all of this and this. So, this is a great opportunity to talk about, if you ever look at your expression, you say, I'm sure it's right. Put brackets around it, and that's going to force the order that you want it to actually evaluate them. And this is a perfect case, because without those brackets, the, the order of that evaluation is different. Now, back to my second point here, is that the order you ask things matters, and that it simplifies code. You know, basically, I'm going to check if, they're, if either of them is greater than 8, and both of them are greater than 2. But, well, here's the thing. Remembering that, you know, if either the person is less than or equal to 2, they don't get a table. And if you enter this if statement, the problem stops. If I take this if statement and I do that evaluation first and hit go, it simplifies my code significantly. Because now, when I reach here, sorry, that's Python. When I reach this second if statement, we know neither, neither you or your date is less than or equal to 2. And so this is again back to that point that asking the, the order you ask things matters because it's going to simplify your code. And with that, 
please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.